Hello and welcome to Communicatia TV on the Intelsat stand talking to Terry Bleakley. Terry, we're talking a lot about innovation here this week and never has it been more important for the satellite sector to do that. Tell us about how you're innovating to keep up with all these exciting changes. Thanks Brian, thanks for having us today. Um, we're very excited about uh, what's happening in the data world. We believe we're on the cusp of the fourth industrial revolution. If you look at um, mobile data traffic in Asia Pacific, between now and 2021, Cisco predicts it's going to increase sevenfold. Um, if you look at connected machines or, or, or uh, the Internet of Things, um, there are predictions between 20 to 40 billion connected devices in the world, you know, 2021, 2022. So there's a need to become relevant in this new world, which is going to be very data hungry. These connected devices will need uh, access to communication and how will they get them when they're in remote locations. So we, as a satellite industry, need to become relevant in this new world we see and to become relevant, we've got to innovate. We've got many, many people who are interested in the satellite space. We've got uh, Richard Branson investing in OneWeb, which is a new LEO constellation. We've got uh, Jeff Bezos from Amazon um, uh, doing rockets that can launch satellites. We've got um, uh, Elon Musk involved with SpaceX and, and another LEO constellation. So there's a lot of entrepreneurs who everyone knows that are interested in this, in this area and, and a lot of change is happening. Um, and and uh, we, we ourselves at Intelsat are driving innovation. And the first part of that innovation is, is improving, improving performance and economics of satellites to make them relevant in this new world we're going to. Uh, and that's our epic class satellites and we have seven uh, planned for launch by 2018. The first three have already launched. And our epic class satellites are a digital payload and provide a lot more throughput than our traditional satellites. And to put it, that in context, a traditional satellite could deliver around four gigabits of capacity. Um, our EPIC class uh, version of satellites deliver, tw deliver between 40 to 60 gigabytes. So that improves the performance, the cost per bit to the uh, uh, customer uh, and, and makes it a lot more um, relevant in this, in this data hungry world we're moving into. And what about accessibility of those uh, satellites? That's, that's a great question. We think performance and economics are really important but accessibility is the third part of our mantra. And traditionally satellite is, is cumbersome, it's, it's uh, installed by satellite experts and we need to make that smaller and simpler and just to be part of the node of the network and just to fit in. And around that we're, we're doing a lot with antenna design designers and antenna technology. Uh, we have a Kaimeta uh, antenna on display at our stand here. Kaimeta is a US based company that's doing um, a, a, a passive phased array antenna. It's, it's a flat panel. Uh, it is owned majority by Bill Gates, who we all know, so he has a 51% shareholding. Intelsat is the second largest shareholder in that organisation. And they're developing um, uh, uh, this using nanotechnology flat panel antennas that can uh, uh, follow satellites or be in moving vehicles uh, without any moving parts. And they have basically electronic beam forming that happens with them to either uh, track the satellites as the uh, vehicle moves uh, or to track a moving satellite and and you know as they lead into mass manufacture it will drive cost um, size decreases and opens new markets for us and all this activity I guess is making IOT 5g a very exciting market for the satellite sector a absolutely Brian so so just around internet of things I'll, I'll give some examples um, connected aircraft um, satellite plays a role in that and we we deal in that um, with a number of uh, partners, Panasonic, AVA, Onyx, GoGo -Go and Global Eagle. And we recently um, uh, uh, had some press and some analysts on a, uh, a aircraft that was owned by GoGo -Go called Jimmy Ray. And on the 10th of May they did a flight using our new EPIC capacity, IS-32E. Um, and uh, it was using GoGo's new T 2KU antenna, which was a phased array antenna, a flat antenna. And it was using a Galette Galette modem. And in the morning we had um, analysts from Wall Street on the flight and in the afternoon flight we had um, journalists. And it's interesting to notice the different habits of the player. So in the morning with the analysts on they're all downloading. And uh, a lot of them had multiple devices and I think there was up to about 53 devices being connected at any one time. And people were getting download speeds of between 30 and 70 megabits which is amazing. Um, in that flight that lasted just over an hour, 35 gigabytes of data was downloaded on the aircraft. So this is phenomenal, it's, it's, it's where the innovation is taking us 
It used to be a bastion where we could escape, but now it's somewhere where you can truly get broadband activity. It was interesting because in the afternoon when the journalists were on, they weren't so much interested in downloading. They wanted to upload back to their news centre to show a live broadcast. And we had multiple people doing FaceTime uh, back to their centre showing, hey, well, we're doing this from an aircraft. And they were getting up to five megabit uplink speed. So really, really exciting with, with what high throughput innovation and, and antenna design is doing to this world we're going to move into. It's a really exciting time, isn't it? Listen, thank you very much for talking to us today. Thanks very much, Ryan. Appreciate it.